Hello class, this is section 3.1. In this video, we are going to discuss further how Ronskins are used to calculate the general solution. So this is where we begin. We have this second order linear homogeneous equation, y double prime plus pxy plus qxy equals zero. And we know that we have two solutions, y1x and y2x. By the principle of superposition, we know that C1Y1 plus C2Y2 is also a solution of this equation. And the question is, is that the general solution? In the previous video, we talked about how we used the Ronskin to figure that out. But let me explain here why that method worked. Let us first think about what we expect from the general solution. This is a second order equation, so we expect a general solution y to have two constants that we label c1 and c2. And also, for a general solution, we should be able to solve for the constants by plugging in the initial conditions. So this is a second order equation. We expect there to be two initial conditions, b1 and b2. So we say y x0 is b1 and y not y prime x0 is b2, where x0 is the initial time. And we, if we have those two equations, we should be able to solve for c1 and c2. So let's see if this candidate general solution, c1 y1 plus c2 y2, has these properties or not. So if we guess that c1 y1 plus c2 y2 is a general solution, let's just plug that in our equation. In that case, um, y x0 is c1, y1 x0 plus c2, y2 x0, and we have that initial condition that that's equal to b1. And y prime x0 is equal to c1, y prime x0 plus c2, y2 prime x0. And the initial condition says it's equal to b2. And if this is indeed the general solution, we need to be able to solve for c1 and c2, given these initial conditions. Now, if you've taken linear algebra, you know that you can always rewrite a system of equations as a matrix equation. And we do that here. And from here, we can already see why the Ronskin might prove useful. The equation here on the left is exactly the Ronskin. This is exactly the Ronskin matrix. So the question is, can we find C1 and C2 if we have these initial conditions? And notice that in linear algebra language, what we are asking is, is this matrix y1, y2, y1 prime, y2 prime, is it invertible? The reason that this is important is that if the matrix is invertible, then we can simply invert the matrix and solve for C1 and C2 that way. So as you can see, if the matrix y1, y2, y1 prime, y2 prime is invertible, we can solve for c1 and c2. And this is how the question of whether c1, y1 plus c2, y2 is a general solution is related to the question of whether y1, y2, y1 prime, y2 prime is invertible or not. But if you may recall, we have a condition as to when a 2 by 2 matrix is invertible. A matrix y1, y2, y1 prime, y2 prime is invertible if and only if its determinant is non-zero. So that is why we need the Ronskin to be non-zero for c1, y2, y1 plus c2, y2 to be the general solution.